The Lewiston Fools 5 road race is filled with thousands of stories. One of those stories belongs to Iram Leon. On a November day three and a half years ago, he was celebrating a friend's birthday when his life changed forever. On November 5, 2010, I was at a birthday party and uh, the next thing, I was in an ambulance. And, uh, well, I had had a grand mal seizure um, and so we went to the ER and did a CAT scan and MRI and uh, it turned out that we had a um, that I would get diagnosed with brain cancer. Unfortunately, you know, different cancers have different causes. The one I have has no known dietary, genetic, lifestyle, and environmental components. Uh, I, I, I literally never, no one in my family had ever had cancer, and I'd never really had any friends who had cancer before this, and all of a sudden I have a disease, you know, that is literally incredibly rare, and I had more medical tests within a few weeks than I'd had for the rest of my life combined. We, they removed as much of the tumor as they could. And they couldn't get it all, because uh, if they did, uh, I would have no memory or language functions. I think some people would like me better if I couldn't talk. But, um, you know, the brain cancer survival rate, uh, the five-year survival is less than a third. Um, I'm about three and a half years. Um, actually, coincidentally, Tuesday I, f I have my next set of medical appointments. And at the last set, back uh, a few months ago, everything was stable. Nothing had grown, nothing had shrunk. So I'll take it if that's what continues to happen. A runner prior to his diagnosis, the 33-year-old Leon said he quit for a while after tests and surgeries didn't turn out as he had hoped. It was kind of a mess and my friends were worried and they were telling me that I needed to get drunk or that I needed to go to church, that I needed to, you know, go to counseling and or that I needed to get back to running. And uh, eventually I got back to running and that's kind of when, when things started to feel a little bit more normal, um, where literally just by putting one foot in front of the other, um, I felt a little healthier, if nothing else. Yeah, actually, I always say running's my therapy, and how much I run and how long I run tells you how bad I need therapy. <laughs> I mean, on, on average, it depends what I'm training for, but generally on average, I run somewhere between 40 to 50 miles a week. Uh, I'm not allowed to drive, so my car is actually a bike uh, because of the seizures, and so uh, I often bike to go run. <laughs> Last week, Leon ran the 8-mile Fool's 5 course and as recently as a month ago, won a half marathon. And while running may be his therapy, his inspiration and his life perspective comes from his 7-year-old daughter. Uh, when I won the half marathon last month, you know, I, I told her, she's like, that's cool, I saw a butterfly today. <laughs> and, um, and so it kind of keeps it in perspective, you know, that some of the, not to miss some of the little things, the be be beautiful things, you know, and just simple things like it, she wants to walk to school holding hands, you know, and so some, some of the big things that we outgrew, I'm not sure we needed to outgrow, and so to have some of those simple reminders of where, you know, I'm like, oh, I want a race, she's like, cool, let's go check out butterflies, and, um, or last week when she won her race, she, she's like, cool, can we fly a kite now, and so it's good to keep the exercise, I mean, it's just, it's just the basic of life, but to also go get some of the little joys that, I don't, know, I don't know how we forget those as we grow up, but I'm glad that I've got a little kid who reminds me of it. Dion said he was impressed by the Lewiston community, and he was happy that he received the invitation to participate in this year's Fools 5. I'm just amazed. I mean, this is a town of 1,600 people that will have a race bigger than its population, and you know, over 35 years it's pushing on the 2 million mark of how much money they've raised. And I, I think, if anything, they've proved that you know, fighting cancer is not a fool's errand with their race. And they balance it, you know, they, ha they raise money both for cancer research and they raise money for locals that are going through cancer and uh, trust me, it's not cheap. Uh, and so uh, they help out with both, you know, the, the immediate problems and the long term trying to fix the disease says a lot about the characters of the people who run this. Leon is truly running for his life. At the time of his diagnosis three and a half years ago, he was told he could expect to live another four to eight years. And so far, his cancer is stable. He said adjustments to his medications have gone well. In fact, he's looking forward to life returning to a higher level of normalcy. Actually, if everything holds, they're going to let me start driving again in a few weeks, uh, which will be the first time in over two years. We'll see if I remember how. We upped the medication in December, and uh, it... I mean, it's always caused some nausea issues, but other than that, I'll, you know, I, if, if throwing up is all it costs, I'll, I'll, I'm all right. Iram is truly a very courageous and humble young man who is handling his disease with an incredible amount of grace. He was scheduled to return to his doctor's office for a checkup last Tuesday. And as Iram mentioned, his condition has been stable the last few months, and we pray that that continues to be the case.